Hello everyone. Today I'm sharing with you my first guest design team project for Crafty Me Shop. I recently received a gorgeous box of um, beautiful laces, trims and appliques from Esme and this is the first project I have made. It is a series of three art dresses and I will put a link to Esme's Crafty Me shop on Facebook in the description box below. Uh, that is where she sells all her laces and trims and other things as well. And that's um, where you'll find the sales that she has. This is the first little art dress I've made and it's a winged dress. As you can see there is some little paper wings on the back there. I have a paper mache bodice and this is using the art dress tutorial that I have on my channel. I'll also link that in the description box below. I have used this beautiful delicate whimsical trim to showcase on this art dress. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's just so so delicate and I just thought it lended itself beautifully for this particular art dress. I've also used some sari silk around the bottom of the waist there and I have made some little flowers on each side of her hips using a delicate little lace and I will show you that in a moment. I've used tulle and I've used book paper to put this little art dress together. To hold the wings on at the back, I have used a little bit of the wedding applique trim from Esme's store also, and I think it um, it did very well with that. And I'll just turn it around for you so that you can see the back as best I can. I'm sure you can appreciate these are not the easiest things to film. And there's our lovely wings on the back there. We have more sari silk running across the back of her dress. The wings I have made, they're out of paper, but I have put this beautiful trim on the back there. And also that lovely little sequined butterfly. And it's full of beads as well that Esme sent. And there is the back of the dress. It's just all concertina paper and tulle. And I'm trying not to make you dizzy. This is the lace that I used for the wings on the back. This is the beautiful delicate trim that I used on the front of the bodice. And this is the lovely lace that I used to make the little flowers on her hip. And I and this is the beautiful wedding trim that I use to join the wings on the back of her dress. So I'll just um, turn the camera off. I'll give you one last look at the back there. I think it's really, really pretty. And then let's just turn it around. And that's the front there again. It looks very pretty, very awkward to film, but very pretty. I also have a little bit of glitter around the top of the bodice. So just let me turn the camera off and I'll put the next, next dress up. Okay, so this is the second little dress I've made. And this is to be hung up as well, but because of my limited space, in this filming area it's much easier to have it on a little stand at the moment which you could quite easily do anyway. I have used this absolutely beautiful lace from Esme's store and I used it all so I can't show you a piece of that but it's absolutely gorgeous lace and I've gathered that all around her skirt and her bodice is covered in it as well. For the pink sequined applique I have used the same sort of thing as let me just show you it's like a collar piece like this one here but it's in the pink tones I've used an organza wedding uh, dress for her dress and that was 
sent to me as a gift by Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. And underneath, I also have layers of tulle just to let it puff out more. Let's just turn it around. And this is the back of the dress. Once again, layers of the beautiful organza, the gorgeous lace from Crafty Me Shop, more organza, and then I have this lovely double layered flower on the back here, and that is made from this beautiful lace, once again, from Crafty Me Shop, and I've just gathered it, that up like a flower in two different layers and put some stamens in the center. I've made a double bow out of some narrow ribbon. I've laced up the back of her corset there and put this sweet little trim for her shoulder straps. And inside is a white rosette just to keep things tidy and to cover up, you know, the insides of things. The first dress also has a little rosette in it also. So that is the second little art dress that I have made. It's very, very pretty. It's got a very, very poofy little skirt on it as well. So just a moment and I'll come back. Alright, so this is the third and final art dress that I have made and I love this one. It is so very whimsical. Once again, a little bit hard to film but I will do my best. I've actually made this skirt out of a product called Mulberry Bark and this was gifted to me a few years ago by Jean. Thank you Jean. I have used these beautiful single appliques from Crafty Me Shop over the top, oh, well combined with this beautiful, beautiful applique. It's so delicate and so whimsical. It's just beautiful. It's Look at that. It's so dainty. And there was only the, the one applique like that, so I can't really show you it, but if you saw my guest design team package you would have seen that applique. There's also another one of those single appliques there and another one around the back here also and I've cut the beautiful pink and green applique up and you know just put it around her dress to look really pretty and then up the front of her dress and just up to one side I've also used some of the mulberry bark for her little straps, little rosette inside there and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I've, I've just got it sat on a glass dome because it is, um, unless it's hanging in a full space, it's very difficult to prop up but I just want to show you kind of what it looks like because it's really, really pretty. Okay. So this is the little dress and this is what I mean. It's ever so whimsical. Can you see? You can see my hand through it. It's just lovely. It's like a paper lace and I love the whimsical look of it and I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's just so, so pretty. And those appliques, this little one here, just lend themselves perfectly to something like this and it almost fell because I've, I've got it propped up here with all sorts. So there we go. That's my very first design team project for Crafty Me Shop and I hope you like what I've made. I, um, I will be back next week with another project from Crafty Me Shop. I will be back before then but for the particular guest design team projects um, I'll probably put one up a week so there we go. Thank you Esme for the beautiful products. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you like what I've made. Take care now. Bye bye.